Hey guys, Space Poo Poo here, and today I am doing a sketchbook tour. Uh, specifically, this is a sketchbook tour for my Inktober drawings. Uh, I did all of them in this De La Rowney sketchbook. Honestly, it wasn't perfect. As you may have seen on my social media, I watercolored all of them, and it's not really watercolor paper. As you can see, it kind of doesn't say that it is. So. Yeah, so let's, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so day one was Seasonal Witch. I chose to do an autumn theme, and as you can see, I started out not watercolouring the entire thing. I left the actual figure completely blank, aside from the actual line art, and I did the background. That does not continue. <laughs> Which is kind of a shame. I probably would have liked to do a bit more in that style, um, but I didn't. So <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much that. This was me seeing what I could actually achieve with watercolours, and honestly that's, that's what I'm doing through a lot of this book. But yeah. Second theme was Urban Witch. I went with this smoking, surly thing. I don't know. <laughs> okay, the day three was Merchant Witch. I had this idea of a witch with a cart selling potions and spells and ingredients. Yep, that's pretty much that. Uh, I wanted to do something a bit brighter since the previous day was quite dark and muted and all that. So that's what I did. Yeah, as you can see, I used my emerald and purple and all of that fun stuff. Day four was Garden Witch, which was actually one of my favourite themes, honestly. I really, really liked this. I liked the way the hands turned out. I liked the way the little plants turned out. It just all went pretty nicely. So yeah. Day five was Socialite Witch. I think it turned out quite nicely. They look quite modern and young and socialite -y. Some of these themes, I'll be honest, I wasn't super clear on, so I just had a bit of fun, <laughs> really. Uh, day six was Oracle, and at the point that I did this one, I didn't realise that there was going to be a Luna Witch prompt, which there was. <laughs> Honestly, this would have been more appropriate for that, and I should have done something more fortune tellery, but I didn't, so... <laughs> Yeah. Day seven was Seamstress Witch. I went with something a little bit fun. It's trying to be a little bit more dynamic. I don't know how well I achieved that, but I hope I achieved it a little bit. I need to work more on backgrounds. That is something that if you were following me on social media, as I always plug, you will have seen me say quite a lot, wow, I need to work on backgrounds, and then I don't really work on backgrounds that much. Day eight was Blood Witch, which I really liked. Um, although I felt like I cheated a little bit this day. <laughs> the picture didn't work as well in black and white, and obviously I'd kind of gone into it knowing that I was going to watercolour every single day as well, so I kind of let it be because I was going to watercolour it. I do like how it turned out though, the blood looks really red. Day nine was Lolita Witch, pretty self-explanatory, puffy skirts, blonde hair, pastel colours. That's usually what I kind of associate with Lolita style. Uh, I know it's not the only Lolita style, but it's kind of the one that I'm most familiar with, so that's the one I went with. Day ten was Wicked Witch, and I really wanted to do something really different, <laughs> so I had the idea of like the typical green witch, black cloak, dark hair, big witchy nose, and I kind of went a little mad and made it kind of creepy. And I, I'm i really happy with how it turned out actually. I really really like the creepy, bony, skeletal, spooky thing that's going on there. I thought, at least in my opinion, it was a pretty fun take on a theme that can be seen as kind of overdone, I guess? I don't know. I, I I, was just really proud of that. Day 11 was Solar Witch. As you can see, I think around this point I started experimenting a bit more with the shapes on the page, just because why not? It's, it's kind of fun and interesting. And yeah, uh, the big yellow circly bit 
at the top is meant to be a sun. That's that's my solar witch. I I like her. I liked the very simple color palette as well. Uh, day twelve was candy witch. Uh, I try to make her dress look kind of like a, a wrapped up sweet. Like there's the there's the sweet and the wrapper is there. I don't know how well that worked. <laughs> um, candy cane tights, sweets in her hair, lollipop wand. You may notice I haven't drawn a lot of them with wands. I, I didn't want to just draw exactly the same thing all the time, so I tried to stray away from like really obvious witchy things. Yeah, I don't know how well that necessarily worked, but hopefully reasonably well. Yeah, again, this was this was a lot of bright colours, uh, a lot of contrasting colours, although I tried to stay within a general colour palette. Of the only colours I really didn't use were like yellows and oranges. <laughs> Still, I like the way it turned out. I am fond of it. Day 13 was Pixie Sprite and I really like that. It was just a little tricksy fairy character. I like her pose, I played around with it a bit more because she's flying, she's got wings, all that stuff. That was just like the first kind of design that came to mind while I was looking up reference pictures and stuff to work from. Day 14 I actually did two pieces, one that I watercolored and one that I didn't. The obvious reason is look at all of this wonderful space that was completely blank in the first ink drawing and didn't really work as an ink drawing, it only worked when I added the galaxy paint to it. So I felt that was kind of cheating and I made myself redo it, which is why this is 14.5, also a space witch. Uh, but this time I went with an astronaut theme and a wand that makes stars, because I thought that was kind of a fun idea. And yeah, I kind of cheated, so <laughs> I, I challenged myself to do something a bit more detailed and a bit more interesting. Day 15, Royal Witch. Royalty, but her scepter is magic, hence the little crystals. Day 16 was Beastmaster Witch, which I think turned out reasonably nicely. I'm not great at animals. I had a much more dynamic idea with a witch and some animals jumping around her, like rabbits and stuff, but I kind of chickened out because <laughs> I didn't think that I could actually achieve it the way I wanted to. So I ended up going with this and the clearly witchy part is the witch hat, which I put some plants in and stuff to show a general connection with nature, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, day 17 was Necromancer, so she is summoning skeletons to do her evil work. I suppose. Um, I like the way they turned out. Yeah, I was actually kind of surprised. I didn't reference it, which I feel like is probably reasonably obvious. I'm not super great with anatomy and stuff and I just kind of hoped for the best. I just really liked it. I liked the stylized bones and all of that. Uh, Music Witch. Her bow is a wand and she is using music to do magic. Not very clear what that magic is, but it's shiny. <laughs> Day 19, Technology Witch. I, I kind of like this one, it was, it was interesting. I probably could have worked a bit more technology in, but I felt like having the vaguely electric suit and the headphones and the wand that creates wires was... I mean, I thought it was okay. <laughs> yeah, Mermaid Witch, I tried to do something that's not just a typical mermaid. I went elf ears and underwater fire and creepy fingers. <laughs> and I tried to do some more interesting colours, but obviously the paper doesn't like that very much. You'll see a lot of not very smooth watercolour. I, I promise I'm better than that, but the paper just doesn't like watercolours, so that was my mistake. <laughs> Day 21 was Potion Brewer. Um, I played around for quite a while of having a more chemistry style to it, but I couldn't find a good way to get that posed and everything, so eventually I just kind of went, nope, witch with a cauldron. Pretty, pretty typical stuff. It's, it's one of the more, like, typical witchy witches that I've drawn over the course of this challenge, but I still like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Day 22, Warrior Witch. The idea is that 
she is using her magic to kill someone off screen hence the huge spurt of blood <laughs> yeah that's about it uh, i really liked the outfit for this though yeah, i looked up some references and i put this idea together and i actually really like how it turned out and i really like her as a character just generally she's very my kind of character <laughs> Day 23 is Magical Girl. It was technically Magical School Girl, but I I wanted to just go straight up Magical Girl, so I did. Um, it it might have been a bit more interesting to do Magical School Girl, but I don't know. Also, she ended up looking way older than I meant her to. I don't know what it is, maybe her proportions or something, but she looks... She doesn't look very schoolgirly to me. That might just be me, but... um. <laughs> Yeah, I liked her, and I tried to have a more limited colour palette with her as well. I, I do try to limit myself a bit, just so that I'm not going mad and all of them end up looking kind of similar. <laughs> Day 24 was Lunar Witch. Like I said, I kind of messed up and accidentally did this one at the beginning of the month, but <laughs> I, I decided to take a different approach, where she's a more naturist kind of witch who worships the moon rather than um uses the moon to predict futures i guess was what oracle witch turned into so the the idea was that she draws power from the moon so she dances naked under the moon typical folklore stuff <laughs> yeah I, I was reasonably happy with that day 25 was insect witch which was kind of creepy i really really liked the creepy bony skeletal legs. I kind of realised that throughout this month. I really like that creepy aesthetic with the Wicked Witch and the Insect Witch and the Necromancer. I kind of, I don't know, I kind of picked up on that in my own art and that was, that was interesting. I think that's been my favourite thing this month, has been realising the kind of things that I, I enjoy drawing. Day 26 was Farm Witch. Not got a lot about that to say I at this point I was just it's not that I was uninspired by the Inktober as a whole it's just that compared to the other prompts which I've been having a lot of fun with I didn't like it that much so it kind of was disappointing and not super witchy and eh I'm I'm not a fan <laughs> uh baker witch is a witch who is baking using her magical powers to pour things into her bowl and mix while also reading the recipe Day 28 was Punk Witch, which was one of my favourite pieces, honestly. Like, it's not got the whole creepy thing going on, but like, I just really like it. <laughs> she's got um, a typical witch wand, she's got a load of piercings, she's got green hair. She's just, she's really witchy and cool without being like a typical witch character. I can't really explain it, I just love her. <laughs> Day 29 was Alchemist. This page got really messy. I'm sorry, I don't know how I managed that, but uh, yeah, 29 Alchemist. I kind of went with a summoning thing. Uh, I didn't want to go too close to Full Metal Alchemist, which is usually my first thought, so I kind of went a bit creepy. Doesn't fit perfectly, but I kind of like it anyway. Day 30 was Ghost Witch. Uh, I really played around with that creepy thing that I've been enjoying. Uh, I love how it turned out, honestly. I'm really, really happy with that. And the whole skull mask thing has got me a bit inspired. I kind of need to do more stuff, that theme. And the final day was a free draw. So I drew Shell, my orc character. She is a sorcerer. She draws her magic from various things. <laughs> she She is developing over time and I'm loving her more and more. And I had to draw her for Inktober. So yeah, that was my sketchbook tour for Inktober. Obviously there's a lot more pages that I need to fill in in this sketchbook. Maybe I'll do more challenges in here? I don't know. I'm not a big fan of generally sketching in A4, so yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'll definitely finish the sketchbook though, <laughs> and then maybe I'll do a full sketchbook tour where I just quickly flip through this and then show you guys the rest. Um, so yeah, thank you very very much for watching. If you enjoyed, Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my various social media, which I link in the description box. 
Um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Thank you very, very much for watching and goodbye.